With the 60th anniversary of the E-Type, I realized that with Gary Pearson next to me, who's very much Mr. E-Type, I realized I had an opportunity to, to set myself a goal and a task and one that would mean something to people, which is to try to win a big British historic race in an E-Type Jack. And the reason why that's a challenge is because in historic racing, Jaguar E-Types are underpowered. They miss two cylinders being a straight six versus the V8 Cobras, the, the, the big V8 TVRs. And so actually to, to make an E-Type successful in that kind of racing is a bit of a project because you have to have this chassis absolutely right. You have to have the weight as low as possible. You have to have somebody like Gary in your corner and, uh, and sharing the wheel with you uh, and then go out there and learn about the cars. So that's the challenge I've set myself and it's a challenge that I want to mean something to E-Type fans, fans of the most beautiful car in the world, debatably. Something that's going to force me not just to play about, but something that's going to force me to learn about them and excel in racing them, driving them. That's the next stage. Playtime is over and it's time to get a result in one of these cars and uh, achieve an ambition. So this afternoon will be the first event with the Jaguar E-Type in its 60th year. And I feel like I have a duty with it, you know, to be victorious, to win one of these great sports car races in the car this year. And I feel like I have a duty to its heritage uh, to get that result. Welcome back to Historic Racing, Alex. Um, what a challenging first weekend. I guess there's nothing else to do but look through everything, make sure I'm doing the right thing in the car, and uh, yeah, come back stronger. But uh, I feel like we've got a mountain to climb at the moment um, in terms of my, my own performance, um, making sure that I'm looking after the car and uh, being at the front. But uh, it just makes me more determined to, to come back in and, uh, and win races in the car was fun, definitely fun, uh, while we were fighting at the front. So uh, good battle and uh, come back hopefully for, for better results. So here we are at Brands Hatch, having come off a difficult Donington round uh, in the E. And uh, this is a circuit which really suits its long wheelbase and uh, it's a high speed circuit, narrow circuit as well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be after it, a big opportunity for us this weekend. So we've got to make the most of it coming off the back of what was a really hard performance. When I'm sat there before the race, after a, after a difficult weekend, uh, you have to kind of clear your mind and, uh, and understand that that was just a difficult set of circumstances and, and move forward and take as much as you can out of it and learn. Look at the opportunity that you have ahead of you and then, uh, and then maximise the performance over the car over the, over the long, long distance you have to drive it. And uh, that's pretty much all there is in that moment. It's why we love it so much. It takes our mind away from absolutely everything else. OK, 
came from the second row of the grid and charged up into the lead at Brands Hatch uh, for a little bit before the big V8 got going and tracked me back down again. But had an amazing race. My teammate John Pearson jumped in the car and held position within the top three. We took home second position just behind the leading Daytona Cobra. So close, but yet so far. pinnacle of where we're going with this year racing the the Jaguar E-Type. Jag have been super kind and invited us to drive their, their development chassis, uh, us two, uh, of the continuation, the new continuation Jaguar E-Type they're building for the 60th anniversary. So loaded a little bit of pressure on the final uh, race of uh, as we build. You're feeling tense. As we, uh, as we build towards the climax, no, as we, as we build towards trying to get that race when we were second uh, of course at Brands Hatch and now I've got a new celebrity teammate to help me deliver the goods at the Silverstone Classic. It's going to be an E-Type only race so an E-Type will definitely win but it needs to be our E-Type doesn't it? It does but we've got some big competition and um, people who do this a lot um, but you know, Gary Pearson's developing this car it is the real deal, and as long as I can get somewhere near your pace and we don't mess up in the pit stops, I think we've got half a chance. Are you, you're slightly older than the car, aren't you? Slightly younger, slightly older. 59. I'm older than this car. Yeah. Uh, but nowhere near as shiny or easy, as valuable. Easy. <laughs> So we're at Silverstone and it's wet. We just finished qualifying. We think we've qualified 11th, but the, the timing and scoring is a little bit, um, uh, a little bit affected by the weather here. So uh, not really sure we're gonna wait and see, but certainly a, a little bit of a learning experience through qualifying. Uh, I think we should have done a bit of a, a different thing strategically and also missing a little bit of pace in the car, but uh, the race will be long and, um, and we'll have both of us through the car, so it'll be uh, be interesting uh, and hopefully dry as well on Sunday for the race. So uh, we'll we'll do our best. The car was really tricky to drive in the pouring rain at Silverstone. I had a great start charging up to third position, but then our lightweight E-Type started to mist up its screen really badly. I wiped it with my glove, I wiped it with everything I could possibly find inside the car, but started to drop back. Just after the pit stop at mid distance, I handed over to dad, and then unfortunately the red flag came out, having just made our stop, we finished P10. race was red flagged uh, due to wet conditions. Uh, we just made our pit stop, so we were running 10th at the time, uh, which is a bit of a shame we didn't get the result here. We had an absolutely soakingly wet uh, safety car uh, infected uh, qualifying session and a red flag race here. So uh, it's been, been tough to get the result in, uh, but we've had uh, tremendous fun and uh, we'll have to come back and, and try and do this car justice because it is such a great machine. Uh, we just couldn't put the power on the road and uh, yeah there we go that's uh, it is what it is and uh, we, we gave it our absolute best shot but uh, couldn't 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 win the race here today but we've had tremendous fun. I mean so many people have been involved in this 60th anniversary year of the E-Type this is our little story <laughs> our little uh, our little bit uh, to, to try to celebrate this car 
um, but uh, it's just a pleasure to be involved with, with a little bit of the history of the car and uh, this type of car and uh, incredible to be, to be part of this event uh, regardless of, of the result. So uh, yeah, great to be out there.